AstraZeneca and Oxford University out with their peer-reviewed vaccine data. That's just one day after Pfizer said its vaccine is 95% effective. Let's start on this news with Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kemlani for the latest vaccine checkup. And Anjali, just to be clear here, it's not apples to apples, right? The, the stuff that Pfizer and Moderna came out with was phase three data. This is phase two, which is, is looking at different things than the phase three data. That's correct. Um, and not only is it a, a different data in terms of where the trial is, it's also a different platform. Uh, so we're definitely comparing a number of different things, but it is still positive because as we've said from the beginning and as health experts have said, we're going to need many different options when it comes to a vaccine because different people will respond differently to these and different age groups will uh, respond better to one versus the other. So there are a lot of factors that go into this. So yes, very good news out of AstraZeneca. We know of course, that company was the one that had to hit pause earlier, both in the UK and abroad. Uh, the UK trial did start up a little bit faster for phase three, and the US uh, did delay a little bit more. So it's a little bit further behind, even though it started out pretty far ahead. The good news from Moderna, of course, 94.5% effective, um, and it is the less uh, arduous one to send out uh, through a supply chain. So a lot of uh, optimism for that one. Meanwhile, Pfizer with even better results, 95%. Uh, uh, for its effectiveness and also looking at that cold chain storage, ultra cold chain storage that's going to be needed. Um, so that's sort of the baseline of what we're looking at right now in terms of the options that are out there. We know, of course, Novavax and Johnson & Johnson are also working on their vaccines. Um, and so there's a lot a lot to go into this, a lot of options out there. And that's exactly what was necessary. And it looks like we might have two uh, in the U.S. that receive emergency use authorization by the end of the year. Meanwhile, looking in China, of course, they've had multiple options that they've been working on. Their, one of theirs uh, from Sinovac uh, did show robust response but uh, it, it wasn't as uh, much as, say, someone who's recovered from COVID, but did have a quicker uh, response time. So a lot going on, of course, and this is the time of year that we anticipated having to deal with a lot of vaccine news. So as it stands right now, that's what we've got. Julie?